when the President signed the $2.3 trillion relief and government funding bill back in December, it also started the ball rolling on something else. As of that date, US intelligence agencies have just 180 days to release everything they know about UFOs, a subject that has been thrown into the limelight in recent months. The Director of National Intelligence and the Secretary are said to have been put on the spot, and will now have to release everything they know about these unidentified graphs. It sounds too good to be true, but the call to action is very much real. It stated that these documents must contain detailed analysis and descriptions of unidentified crafts that have been observed by the naval intelligence, and also that of the mysterious unidentified aerial task force program. Interestingly, this bill backs up what many UFO researchers have been saying for years, and this is that every other year they open up a new project in order to study and work alongside these crafts. Those who have looked into the phenomena have said that back when Project Blue Book was carried out, officials said at the end of their investigations they didn't find anything of interest, and so shut the program down, saying that nothing was found and it wasn't worth their time and money. However, fast forward a couple of decades and numerous UFO programs have been opened up to look into the phenomenon, with researchers noting that these are only the ones we know about. It's fair to say then that government officials are interested in these crafts, and clearly think it's worth the time, effort and money to further investigate whatever these things are. Due to recent announcements in regards to this subject, it's caused some to say that UFOs need to be taken more seriously, and that the stigma around those that study them need to be dropped. The irony being that government officials are perhaps the ones that are most interested in these objects, spending billions of dollars over the years in order to study them and gather as much evidence as possible. Some have said the President is going all out and wants to reveal the truth to the public about what's really going on. Others though within the UFO community are not sure if any information will be released, with one UFO researcher saying the following. On paper, it's very exciting that this announcement has been released but the bottom line is that they won't release any information they don't want to. It's sad because people are getting excited by this news, and I can see why, but in my opinion judging how people have acted this year, and how easily offended people get, do you really think we're ready to be told that we're part of something much bigger? It's not going to happen. The only thing that will be revealed is probably a little more information on the program they were running in the past stuff that many of us are already aware of. In my opinion, the majority of the world certainly are not ready for the truth. End quote. The Central Intelligence Agency has a long history of ties to questionable activity, decisions and out there experimentation that seems to border on the insane. Regardless of their actions, it seems that nearly every new declassified document seems to uncover more and more impossible to explain or even worse, impossible to justify experiments that continue to bring to light just how far the CIA is willing to go to gather their intelligence. At the end of 2017, the United States Department of Defense began their subtle declassification processes by slowly declassifying a collection of military documents and research information to the general public. Usually, these declassification processes are fraught with financial information technical documents and references to training programs, government budgets, assistance with other nations or other basic procedures, of which do not hold any significant importance outside of technical military information. However, it became apparent very quickly to members amongst the UFO community that the declassified files coming from the Pentagon were more than just research and technical information. Back in 2007, the Department of Defense began developing a UFO research program tasked with gathering information regarding unidentified flying objects, and conducting research as to the observed aircrafts, their origin and their technological prowess. The team was quickly budgeted with $22 million in support and a team of military intelligence officials, researchers and the highest level of security clearance. The program itself went by the name of the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, 
and was given the primary objective of identifying these unidentified flying objects as whether or not they were potential threats to national security. It did not take long for the team to gather a wide variety of strange sighting reports made by pilots from all across the country, including associated data like camera footage and radar information while attempting to match these sightings with known international aircraft signatures. Expecting to find explanations to these crafts and their origin, after the gathered data was compiled, it became rather obvious that this would not be the case. In fact, many of the researchers involved in the program regarded these UFO sightings and crafts as having no earthly origin, and displaying behaviour that could not be explained. This could very well be the closest the Department of Defence will ever come to admitting the viability of extraterrestrial crafts without directly saying it. According to Nate Jones, the director of the Freedom of Information Act, he claims that the footage shown and provided was never officially declassified, and that there are potentially many files that are yet to be declassified, that have not yet gone through the proper channels. In fact, it almost appears to be that the initial cause for the declassification of certain files to begin with, was due to a potential leak of information that originated from inside the Pentagon. As Nate Jones said the following, It looks very strongly that these weren't released through any proper DoD declassification channels. End quote. The Department of Defense has also taken a stand by saying the following. The official who is authorized to release this video on behalf of the Department of Defense did not approve the release of this video. End quote. As of right now, no one is sure what information will get released and whether the general public will be told about what these crafts are, and why the government has been studying them for over 70 years. So what do you make of this announcement, and the fact that high-up government officials have been studying these crafts for decades? Do you think we'll finally be told the truth about what these unidentified crafts are, or do you think they'll just release basic and as little information as possible? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.